What is up guys, Sonic Beast here. We are back for another NBA 2K21 of the Eastern Conference Finals. As of right now, the Sixers are having a hard time to do fear for game three because the Bucks had made the lead 2-1. And now, they still got another chance to do it again in game four. So the Sixers are currently being destroyed in game three, but do they have a spot where they can take it for the tie series, 2-2? Well, we'll see what happens here, because last time in the buzz beer in Game 4, it was Joel Embiid that puts up a, an outstanding career for his effort, and the most of the time he had just made a buzz-beating save here last year in 2020, part of the NBA playoffs in Game 4. That was at Philadelphia, of course. But there are more options that has to get better at this moment. So, let's see what happens here if there's another chance for Joel Embiid and the other guys to take it from here. So Mong Long Home is my team goat. Is here's the winner that goes with the 2K awards. That was the one that you just looked for. And a W we're looking for is the one that we have never spotted out. The WMVP goes to Keith Keith H3 Hill. Share so they really like to share their thoughts. So happy Here's what it says here. If you could read it for yourself, you could do it anyway. Alright, let's get into Let's get into the game of game four and find out who will win. It looks like they're ready to get heading into the locker rooms and then before on the court, they will see what they could do. There's Joel Embiid along with Giannis the Greek Freak here. You have no idea where it's coming. An amazing downtown here in Milwaukee. You're about to find out what's going to happen. And yes, we're back here at the Fiserv.forum. We got another one to be showing here in this game. Let's go to DA as reporting on the sideline. David Eldridge, it's all yours. So as we will share their thoughts in a minute. And now here to start in lineups once more to get started underway. Here is an R1. Ben Simmons, Curry, Danny Green, Tobias Harris, Noel and Beat. Holiday Demon, Chenta Milton, and Ana Kupo, and Brooke Lopez. Let's get the game started. And here's the game. And those two guys could be the only one to start with the rematch, and there's a chance for them to score. The Bucks wins the game here, for, wins the tip off, and game four starts now. Holiday against Ben Simmons. He wasn't able to try to make his game here for a New Balance player of the game. But it's a good thing that uh, that the other player that we talked about before is Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's really working on the pressure at that point, but he might find out if he could try to make his make his career run a little better 
Benny at the four. Danny Green popping up the three, and this one will drop by for the first three pointer of the night. Here's Tobias Harris covering along with Giannis Antetokounmpo. Here's Middleton right over to Lopez. Joel B never got an attempt to block here in game four. I know he did in game two, but let's see what happens if he can do it again at this game. So here's Tobias Harris rolling along to Curry. It's a two on one. Shot fake over Embiid around Brook Lopez. The shot is tipped off. That will be a foul on the Milwaukee Bucks. That will be Brook Lopez with his first personal. Last time he was receiving three fouls, and he has to be careful of how, how does he have to do well for this game. And then the fourth foul that will bring him up to a tough game and momentum. It's hard for him to answer if he can get it through on the board. So let's see what happens here for Joel Embiid. He never done this to his free throw line, but, he's, but this is going to be his first trip here for game four. As you can see, Joel Embiid is making the process up here, and he's doing really well. Unfortunately for him, he was never able to play for his game, and the breaking news for the Sixers is that Andre Drummond is looking that is looking for the play with the Sixers here for tonight, following along with a switch up here from the Lakers by D.Y. Howard. So it looks like D.Y. Howard has tried to make this up with the Lakers, and he said, hmm, let me try something different here first before I can start battling it up with, um, with going back with the Lakers if I don't like the team. Well, that's more often, and you might have to find out what it is, true. So at that point, there might be another one coming in and almost turned into a backcourt violation here on Steph Curry. Now Joel Embiid pick up his second bucket of the night. Jonas Antetokounmpo really never got an attempt to a block at it first to make the Greek free with the crowd. Oh, Tobias Harris puts up a blocking shot, but the Bucks still has the ball. And what a great play here from the Sixers defense player. Tobias Harris, this will be his first block of the night in game four. They're all turning, go Bucks, go. In this one, there might be another one that might be turning out for him to make the game look even harder. So, if the contract is checked in for uh, for the player of um, of Andre Drummond, then, he's, then he will be confirmed to do the second lineup. If Joel Embiid thinks that the White Howard is able to take it, then no switch contract here. And yes, to, and we talked about it before, Joe Harris, he should have been left early to play with the team of Brooklyn Nets. And we need a better player to make all five franchise players, Kyle Kuzma. I have never seen Kyle Kuzma play in Brooklyn Nets at that point. He has to play one. And Joe Harris to the Lakers with LeBron James. He should have been out there just as a better of time. There might be a chance for him to do it. So, first two shots coming up will be Chris Middleton following along with a personal foul with a first personal on Danny Green. That will be second team foul in Philadelphia. The first free throw is good for Chris Middleton. And last time for his first game, yes, he just had it all with the buzz beater, and he made an incredible save here at that moment. Well played on that one, but there might be a choice for him, but he might do it again. The second free throw is good. Chris Middleton got his first bucket here for this one to bring up 7-4 run. Ben Simmons finding over his curry with a drive, and he makes a, a up and around the hoop of the rim. Curry's got his first bucket, following along with the assist of Ben Simmons. Here's Gana Kupo. Oh, he slammed that dunk. The Greek Freak has made his way to start it off for the fourth game. Curry rolls along to Tobias Harris, over on Joel Embiid. 
Double man on him. Danny Green for three. Fires it off and he makes it triple. That'll be Joel Embiid's first assist here. This one for the fourth game. On to Kumpo against Harris. Following along with the cutting drive. Two in a row. That'll be number two for Tobias Harris. He gets his second bucket of the night. Unicorn Freak. Nah, they call it the uh, Greek Freak. We don't need to change that. Green back to Curry. Green right to Harris. Over on to Kubo. And it's rejected by the Greek Freak. Greek Freak's got his first block of the night. Hello, Yalu. Oh, you can't just handle that one. Giannis on the Kubo got his first assist. They have it up by two. To Green, to Simmons, right to Embiid. Rolling over is Curry. Curry with the long three barrier. That is good from deep downtown. Curry's got his first three pointer in the first quarter. We're only down to 3.05 left to go here for the first quarter. It's 15 to 10. Girone, DiVincenzo, first three-pointer, no good, and the foul will be on the Sixers. It's Joel Embiid, his first personal. Third team foul, second team foul on Philadelphia. And the first trip to the free throw line will be Giannis Antetokounmpo for the fourth game. I know you heard that one before, but sorry to make your patience because uh, we just got an alert for tornado warnings. So don't even comply of what I have. It's it's very tough for me to do, uh, to explain it. Just don't tell me anything about it, about tornado warnings in here because it just passed already. A couple new changes here for the Bucks and Sixers as three players checked out, Connaughton, Forbes, and Portis are checked in. Drew Holiday and Ana de Kupo are seemingly working on their way to make it heavy with the contest shot. Ana de Kupo doesn't get the second one, so he only makes one out of two free throws. Howard going in. Oh, and Bobby Portis seen that one coming as the White Howard got his first dunk. So they have it up on the board, 17-11. Bible on on the Kumpo Hill. Forbes for three. Good! Forbes got his first three pointer. Bible rolling in around him. And a good solid D on, on Giannis on the Kumpo. Two on the ball and a hit the rim. Good D on George Hill. No foul called on the Sixers. Hill right to Corkmaz. Right over to Milton. 2.10 to go. Milton right to D.Y. Howard. He goes up and he's fouled. Bobby Portis gets his first personal. Second team foul on the box. D.Y. Howard will go to free for a line to shoot two. And if you missed the Olympics here for this one, we, told, we talked about it before. The uh, USA got a gold medal for the discus throw. It was very good. And also Seth Saunders got a silver medal for receiving from this ceremony and a change from the life that you have never heard of it before. So well done here, Clarissa Saunders and other, um, other athletes of the moment. It's, it's been great to see uh, some uh, athletes uh, winning the gold medals here from USA, part of our home country. And of course, the, uh, and of course some great moments, a lot of highlights and enjoying the best part here for Tokyo 2020 of the Olympics. But sadly, no fans out there around, so yeah. Also requiring face masks. He makes his second free throw. He only makes one out of two, just like Giannis Anacumbo. But he will get it fixed if he gets a chance. Right now, two minutes to go here for the first period. It's 18 to 14. Finds Bardis, and he have a foul on D. White Howard. This will be his first foul and third team foul on Philadelphia. Bobby Portis will go to the free throw line to shoot two. This will be his first trip to the free throw for game four. He stopped under two minutes here on the board. 
And yes, we talked about it before, the signing of contract for Bobby Portis going to Brooklyn Nets. And all the guys are just saying, wait a second. If Bobby Portis can help out the uh, Brooklyn Nets, then what's Jeff Green going to do? Well, he might, he might be switching the contracts here to, uh, to the Milwaukee Bucks. There's another contract here. We might be doing it for the next season in season number six. You might find out if there's another way for Bobby Portis to get in for the next for the next year's next year's season. After he made a win here for the uh, for Milwaukee Bucks on the finals. That's got a last touch here on Pat Connaughton. It's still six it's still Philadelphia ball. They're trying to get it right out there. They gotta get this on straight. Now finding an open look here might be D.Y. Howard. He finds George Gill, five to shoot on the shot clock. Brook Maz with a two. He doesn't hit that one as he makes the first miss. Forbes going in the going to the wing. Forbes on D.Y. Howard. Portis on Brook Maz with a two. It doesn't go in that time. Bobby Portis makes the makes the makes only the only two at the free throw line. Oh, oh, the foul has been picked up. It's Drew Holiday. It will be number one for first foul on Drew Holiday for a team foul on the Bucks. George Hill heading to the free throw line to shoot two with only one time remaining. And that's not gonna help the defender score big at that moment. First free throw is good. They're working on their way to get things tough right at the moment. But there might be a lot of them going on if there's something else that he has never done before in this part. He hits the second free throw as George Kill has got two of them. on Maxi and it's George Hill on Drew Holiday as he makes his second second bucket here for this one. We're, we're just under a minute left to go here for the first period. Hill right to Maxi. Maxi doesn't have anything to say about this, but this is what the game he was looking for. Very hard for him to understand it. D.Y. Howard trying to pick up a screen, but he does not get around it. Finds Matisse Feibel, and what a great play here for D.Y. Howard. He's got his first assist here, and first bucket for Feibel. Holiday on Hill. Trying to pick it up already. Holiday inside. Moving the paint. He makes a shot. Lay up in then around Crook Miles. With under 30 seconds left. Oh, D.Y. Howard. Oh, boy. Oh, what a rejection here for P.J. Tucker. Maxi for three. Doesn't hit that one. He makes he missed the first three. And with a tie. Oh! Pat Connaughton has got himself a dunk. And George Hill looking over. Corpaz taking an early lead. He doesn't hit off that time as the first quarter has come to an end. It's 22-22. They're still tied on this one. But one of them has to go up first in the first half. We'll be right back in the game four of the Eastern Conference Finals. Maybe, maybe 10 years from now I can be the same sentence. But I gotta put the work in. Whenever I face him, I gotta show up. I cannot be taking day off against him. Looks like he's comparing himself from uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo to King James. As you've already seen before here on Space Jam, and this is why, what a great steal here for P.J. Tucker. And this is why he really, really, really wants to get things done. He's done it himself like, hey, I think I can handle it itself. And he might be showing, I have some skills on him to show him off. Bring it on. Jonathan Adekupo really wants to do this thing again and, and, and take a look from, Gian, from LeBron James at how Giannis does. George Hill for three. That's good. And they're making. Hill's got his first three-pointer in the game. 
after uh, after being Ben Simmons that uh, he saw in Cold is uh, covered on Tucker. Forbes against Hill finds P.J. Tucker. Inside, Connaughton takes a one-hand dunk. He has it all down on the board. Well played out there. Simmons riding along his Bible. Hill, Rover to Maxi. Around again. His first shot for Maxi is no good. Middleton on the other hand. He, did, he never got a attempt to do it again this season. Middleton on Simmons. He's trying to look over it again. He finds a screen for Bobby Portis with a finish shot. He didn't go in that time as Ben Simmons takes a rebound here. Maxi over to D.Y. Howard and good assist here for Tyrese Maxi. He's got his first assist and D.Y. Howard for five. The first time I will be taking out is the Bucks with 5.30 left to go. And this is whatever happens, they need a timeout, they gotta like make a few changes here and help on offense to get better. So it's time to kind of make some new changes as I'm gonna side by you at Howard. I'm bringing Joel Embiid back in. And right now I'm just gonna keep the man to man. We do not want to lose control out there. If there's a choice, but I'm gonna keep an eye on. Here's a comparison right over here. One block here for the Sixers, two blocks here on on the Bucks, one turnover on Philadelphia, no turnovers here on the Bucks. They're doing really well, one steal only. They're just trying to work their way up here. I noted a number one team here in the Eastern Conference. They clinched it already, but that is what ever happened before. We never really got a chance to do it. A couple changes here for the Sixers and Bucks. And Brooke Lopez has checked in. Joel Embiid checking in for D.Y. Howard. And also, five teams are back to its original lineup. Following along, Connaughton, Tucker, and Portis have checked out. And here's Middleton. They got a good D here on Danny Green. And Simmons will finish the drive. That will be in here as he's got his bucket on the board. Not cold anymore. He's just working out of it. Here's DiVincenzo finding Middleton outside. Green on the cover. He's doing okay, but no foul. Good call. Middleton. Green! Chris Middleton receiving a first three-pointer here in game four. Now here's Simmons. Right over is Curry. Screen on Embiid. Finding Lucas Harris, back to Curry. Finding a Lucas Harris, around on a Kupo, and he checks it in. Giannis on a Kupo got his second block of the game. And a great shot by Forbes. He's tied up already. He's looking for a number one to take it from here. Simmons right to Embiid. Over again, Harris. Simmons, Curry with a deep three. Makes it one again. He's got his second three-pointer of the night. He's really trying to work him hard. Only four minutes gone by for the first half of the series. Alakubo, three dunks in a row. He's heating up now. Only seven points in the making. Finding Embiid. Open shot, Green. What a great pass here for Embiid as Green takes his fourth bucket of the night. Middleton, got to look up at the fade. Screen on Anacupo, and he makes a drive. Ben Simmons taking it from here. But unfortunately, he has to call time out here to make some new changes on offense. We'll have to see what happens here with the offense from the Sixers when we come back. Don't go anywhere. There might be more to make some changes. Made new changes, and they're back on the court. There's some more here on uh, on offense that are making some new changes out there. There might be another one to make it bad, better. As Milton is checked in for Ben Simmons. And Forbes is checked out as Drew Holiday is checked back in. 
short on a carry, but Milton has a recover. Milton has a cover. And Tobias Harris with the screen. Green coming in. And he's good. D on Giannis Anacupo. Looking on the right here. Here's Middleton. Shots inside. And he makes it to timeout Philadelphia. 2.47 left to play here for the first half. Now it's their turn to make some new changes out there to give it another shot. You can see that if the guys are just making a new, enough to get into the in timing, they, they really have to try to work their way around. And it's not very well enough for them to just pick it up. So Kirby is still there, but he has to get a little better at it before, before he gets it right at the right timing. Not totally enough for him, but it, this is very hard for what he has to do in this part of the game. It's not really hard, but it's very, very com competitive. It's not very, uh, it's, it, it wasn't enough for him to just score for a moment, but that is just what happens if he gets the, if he gets the right timing to get right into the zone. And there might be more on their way. So only world champions, 1971 was the finals. That is what happens here with only one. Sixers, they only had one once, CO2, so this is whatever happens. I had a Kupo! Here comes Steve Vincenzo! Drives it in! And the Bucks are extending the lead by three! Here's Curry, he's trying to try to attack it off the course. Curry right to Embiid. He never really had to pay attention before, but here's the drive up, and off it goes. The foul's picked up on Brook Lopez. This will be his second personal foul as Joel B goes to the free throw line to shoot two. It's very tough for him to sell things on the board, but not even tough for him to try to make it all. And those guys could be the only one to make the judge, but that was just hard to do it off. Shoot two. Embiid hits the first free throw. He was able to make it likely to make it in. Sometimes he gets a little uh, a little stressed off about that one. Because of him, he's working on his on his career to make the next level go even more increasing to be a superstar. To be a legendary player. And Joel Embiid hits two free throws. He's got his card bucket. Now Drew Holiday, pass along to Anacupo. Anacupo up. Oh, he made a shot. Anacupo is making his way to the next step. Milton on the wing. And it's two minutes left here in the first half. Curry to tie it. Yes, sir, he just had it all. And working his way on the run, he's got his third three-pointer of the night. For game four, he tied up quickly. On a Kubo, four in a row. That's 11, he's tying up with Seth Curry. Milton, right to MB. He has to find a look of the motion here. No motions being called. Jake Milton on the way, in the corner. Looking over MB. Trying to pick up on the run. Curry without the ideas. And he makes a shot. He has a two-pointer being released as MB grabs the assist. This is number two. Joe Holiday against Curry as we approach to a last-minute mark. Drew Holiday up. Over to Tobias Harris is no good as Joel B gets another rebound. Making it our way. Milton Curry. We'll finish it from here. He's got this third bucket of two. It's not, it's not very that hard, not kind of difficult for him to make his way on the corner. Girolli inside, makes it two. He manages to make himself another one to make it inside, but that is just hard for him to make him score big on that one. Milton, 
no plots, no shots here as he just did not go in through enough to make it all. Middleton on green. Taking a lead is off the mark. 43-43. Curry taking a five. Yes, sir! That's number four for for Curry. Three-pointer again, just like Stephen Curry goes deep. Oh, the steal has almost been broken out. Now again, Arnold Kubo is saving his run on the rough, on the board. Curry leading off Joel B with the buzz meter. And he doesn't hit it that time. First half is close. 46-45. We'll be right back. And as we have time has come to a close, we start off with the second half. And one thing important is that Seth Curry was able to make his way on the board. And he has something to say. Stephen Curry knows that he was definitely part of it. He wants more money. But if I want to have better, uh, better gaming for my ability, my career is always important. So I want to earn it all and make a lot of salary for my career. Well, those guys are just working their way hard. They're just not, not enough to keep it going. Joel Embiid, the process, he's just really making it hard. Everybody's thinking it's racism. Why do they have to do that? They should never, they should never be left alone to do it again. Because after all, you know Joel Embiid is only the one process to make it only notifying with the player, but he has just, just made his, his attempt ever made of this game. Danny Green, he's doing really well at that point. I'm thinking Sixers, yeah, for next season that will be a good idea. But for Joel Embiid, I don't know what he's, he's going to do. He's thinking he wants to stay for a whole career. That could be a big problem here if they want to help them out to make the big moment come to a bigger lead in this one. So Curry is working his way around. Here is uh, Green. Curry. And it's broken up. Giannis Antetokounmpo with the number of steal. And he's rolling it over to DiVincenzo. Free Holiday is not in time. Another three-point miss for Drew Holiday. Ben Simmons never really got an attempt to do the three-pointer. So he has something else to do. He makes a shot. And the foul is called on the Greek Freak. There you go, you got a first two-pointer in the second half as Ben Simmons got four. Curry, Green, and Joel Embiid are checked out as Howard, Feibel, and George Hill are checked in. But Ben Simmons, he has one shot to remain in this game. Ben Simmons makes a shot. He has five in the game. Only 5.40 to go here for the third quarter. Holiday still trying to work his way around. He's just only making a couple two-pointers and only uh, only one three-pointer. Not sure what he's doing next, but he has more to say about what his team can do. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he has 17 points in the run, 13 minutes on the court, and hopefully there might be more on their way. Harris with the screen. Looking over, Tobias Harris. Simmons working away around and he's stripped up. Dante DiVincenzo taking a first foul and all the players has got into a, has gone collapsed with a breakdown. Ben Simmons will try that one again. He will take two free throws this time for game four. Be more underway here, but this could possibly end up being our one if he could do it. Good one for Simmons as new changes for the Sixers. Tyrese Maxey is checked in for Tobias Harris, and George Hill moves over to point guard as Ben Simmons who heads to point forward, and Dante DiVincenzo is checked out as Forbes is checked in. Of course, you've never seen Forbes coming out in the light. Simmons hits two free throws here. He has seven on the board. Bango would have won him to make another, another play. Five minutes to go. Bango would have helped the Greek Freak and the team to make a win because they're popular. How popular? Well, more popular than ever. They need to make history. 
And we got a steal. It's Batiste Feibel. First turnover on the Bucks. And what a shot here for Maxi. He has done his first shot well enough to make the game. He's got his first bucket. 4.30 left to go, 57 to 49 is your score. Anakumo wanted to change differently. Forbes against Maxi, and it's Holiday and Hill. Two H's with the, with the last names. Drew Holiday can't hit the two. Simmons grabbing another rebound here. That will be number three. Maxi, back to Simmons. Howard right to Batiste Feibel. They need to change it up. They go right to Dwight Howard. Maxi, five to shoot. Dwight Howard, out of option with the two. It doesn't go in. Another miss by Philadelphia. Dwight Howard only gets five. And here's Middleton. Oh my! Middleton making a floater. And I'm putting it back up by six. Five ball right to Simmons. He goes up. Shots good. No foul called on the Bucks. And now it looks like the head coach is calling timeout on the Bucks. Mike Budenholzer really wants them to improve stronger at that, at that moment. But this is what he really needs in order to keep it alive. But that wasn't the only one that they really need to keep it going. Let's give it another try to, to stick with the man to man. Good steal by three of them. We got a steal here for the Sixers. One turnover on the Bucks. A little, little change up badly here on offense, but that's just what they really want at that case. This could be right. Maybe hard enough for him to get this another try. They won another one. A couple changes here for the for the Bucks as Connaughton has checked in for for uh, Chris Middleton and PJ Tucker will check in for for uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Bobby Portis has checked in for uh, he's moving over to another lane on the other hand and Connaughton checking. And then it's Forbes moving over for DiVincenzo. Nice pass here for George Hill as Simmons gets 11. Four out of five at that moment. Here five remaining, 61 to 53 is her score for game four. Here comes another one as Bobby Portis is on D.Y. Howard. Another rebound here, pick it up away. And he lost the ball! Oh, P.J. Tucker would have had that one. Again, another great save here for Howard, and he, he has to do it again. Take number two in a row. Looking over, Tyrese Maxi. He gets heavy, but he doesn't... Oh no, it's Matisse Feibel. I'm sorry. I'm confused at getting wrong with this every time. Fours. Up and away, and the foul will be tipped off. Matisse Feibel with the first personal... Number team foul here on the Philadelphia Sixers. A fourth team foul. Forbes will go for a first trip here to the free throw line. He wasn't able to do it before in game one and two. But game three, he has already done that before. And he has to do it himself to do another one in game four. It's the first one. There's one more left. It's the second. Forbes on a, on a carry, looking good. But he might be on a slow start here for him to pick it up in game four. As they're approaching down to 2.15 to go. Hill wanted to make a change up here, but he does not have to do it from here on that side. Finds Howard. Shot clock down to six. Milton. Pass to Simmons. And a shot swept away. Holiday up. Floater's guy. Gerardi is picking his pace up. And 148 to go. Here's Hill. And Matisse Feibel at the three-pointer line. D.Y. Howard. Back to Feibel. 
Moving over is Shake Milton. He has to look himself, but he's clearly out of his mind. And Milton, no, that took him too much time to do. Here's Forbes working his way up. Andrade on Hill, around him. Hang it up on, he is up again. Timeout on the Sixers of Philadelphia. Looks like they're taking too much time here, here on offense, and I put, and I clicked too many buttons at once. So let's just try, let's pick another offense here. This one was a little sloppy. It's fading off a bit, too much. Hey, Sean, the offense, I gotta get the pick and rolls here again. And right now, I need to sub out Ben Simmons and to bring Tobias Harris back in. I'm gonna bring, take out Thibel. I'm gonna bring Danny Green back in. And then, uh, and then I'm gonna need to do Maxi. And then Joel and, and Joel and B came for that game. I gotta need to bring him in a game at that point. Actually, George Hill, give him a little bit more time before he's done for his lineup. Looks like the offense is picking up a struggle here for the Sixers, but the great defense on Milwaukee Bucks, they're just working their way up. Here is Tobias Harris, he never faced his score before. Good back pass here by Curry. Looking over his screen. With under a minute ago, here's Curry. Bounce pass to Embiid, rolling around Portis, and he goes right into the paint. Joel Embiid's got 10. Great pass here by Seth Curry. Making a bounce pass really well. 63-59 is the score. Here's Middleton on the on the carry. And Green has it all covered up. And a drive. Dunks it across. Middleton scores and he's just working his way up. Hill and beat again. Here's Harris. And an open look here is Curry. Finding a look is MB, cutting across. Green outside, five to shoot. Curry with a three, and he's off the mark. There's a jump ball in between DiVincenzo and Curry. With 20.1 seconds, we only spotted one with the block, the Greek Freak. Yep. Good clean block. I really seen that one coming before. That's what you could call him a uh, a um, a madness guy. 20.1 seconds to go here. Still, he's going to win a jump ball, and the Sixers will dig it off. Hill finds Curry. Bounce pass again to Joel Embiid. Double man on him. Hill on the open shot. It doesn't go in. Five seconds to go. Divincenzo. Does he have a chance to take the lead? Oh, he did not have it all. What an upset point here for DiVincenzo. Well, one more corner to go. And it's Sixers 63 to the Bucks 61. We'll see what happens with the fourth quarter after this. And with the candidates of each player, let's check out the assist of the game presented by State Farm. And for this play, we talked about that one. You know that Curry was able to play a good play, but this is what Simmons drive that makes him reverse with two hands. Uh, we've never seen that one play before. I, I've never got a chance to look at it. Maybe on the arc. It, it could be hard for him to, to try it again, but it might be hard for him to work on it. So here we are, folks. The final quarter of Game 4 has begun. Let's give it a try. DiVincenzo on Curry. Middleton on green, inside, knock it all! He ties it up! Deep pass to green. Joel and B trying to go open look here, thinking about a three, and he got it! But it was a two pointer at that point because he was on a three point line, so that did count him as a two. Anakubo in, in a drive and a foul, which up again. That will be on Seth Curry, his first personal. And another team foul will be number five for Philadelphia. Giannis Adekubo really looking for his way to step up to take his second consecutive wins here 
for the NBA Eastern Conference Finals to make it as a champion before heading their way to the NBA Finals. So, let's see what happens if he can do it. First one was slicked. Here's Simmons. He will check in for George Hill. Looks like the team is going to go down by one if he makes one in. And yes, they called it. Their team's down by one. Curry will have to do it from here at that point. Simmons outside. Bounce pass to Embiid. Rolling around Brook Lopez. He's just really never got a chance to do it. And what a great rebound here on Middleton. He picked it up. He didn't have it all. Green still got the ball here to take it from here. Embiid tries again. Over right to Green. Around on a group ball. He makes it through either one. And we have a troublemaking on the floor. It's Giannis Anacupo, his second personal foul. Another team foul called on the Bucks. That will be number. That'll be number four. This is not good for their team because what happens is there are they're losing their tempo here for uh, for defense to help them out before the timeout was being called by the head coach. So they have to regenerate and try to come up with a different plan in order to help them stop the defenders. We know that before because the Milwaukee Bucks just got a, just got crushed by the Timberwolves. And that's what the Sixers never seen it before because of all that happens is what they've done before better than ever. Ida Krupo missing a shot. Oh, man, we got a terrible shot coming in your way. Nice pass by Danny Green as Tobias Harris got, finally, got his first bucket of the night. Waiting so long already that he has just never got a chance to do it. Now, Girala, they will call timeout by the head coach of Mike Budenholzer. 520 left to play here in the fourth quarter. Well play on that run, as the Sixers are working their way up to make the advantage to tie the series up or not. They're working their way up, they're just really trying to work work around it. Crash defensive board, this is still happening at that moment, so we gotta get the average up. player of the game will be coming up later. So um, so with that being fought, we'll see what happens, who gets the most part in this game in game four. Out of Kubo to Middleton, here comes DiVincenzo outside. Out of Kubo wanting to go for another dunk if he could try to hit, hit it off. But unfortunately, he didn't have it all at once. He forfeited it, withdrawn. Open look, Green in the corner, shot made. Danny Green gets 16 points as the Sixers are extending the lead up again. Milwaukee, the Deer District, needs to help them out to make it loud and proud. Adekupo reforces it to go with a layup instead. He has a two-point lead over Seth Curry. Let's see what he can do. Seth Curry will have to try to face their way off. Pass to Embiid. And Curry. Back to Embiid. A nice side drive, but it's wanted up to be over on a defense pin. DiVincenzo. Three-pointer, no good. Another miss here on the Bucks. And Simmons in the corner. Rolling up with four minutes gone by for the fourth quarter. Joel Embiid on against the Greek Freak. And I almost lost it. Tobias Harris squeezed, but he doesn't make that shot. Green up. 
He may say it before the shot clock expired. Well done to the Sixers. Danny Green has extended the point to take out a 19 points. Well played. Oh, the alley-oop cannot be underneath. Unfortunately, it's an unsuccessful alley-oop for the Bucks. Well played for Curry as Danny Green streaks the run, 21 points. Here's another one for Middleton, and he makes a reversible drive. You're down by 10, 17 points for Middleton, five in the mid-range. And here's Green, he really has to get pressure on. Simmons, right to Harris. Harris to Curry. Right over, Embiid, take it off! It's Middleton with the steal, and a reach and foul is called with a block. We're going to call the reach and foul. It went to second personal on Joel Embiid. Six team foul. It's the team foul number six on Philadelphia. And they call timeout here for the Bucks. They wanted to switch it up instead. I'm bringing five ball back in and Curry out. And Tobias Harris. I'm going to need to try to have somebody out to do it from here. I'm going to see what Corpaz can do. It's just hard for me to do it. I don't know what else to say about this, but this is whatever happens. If there's anything going on to make the attempt look better. And I need somebody to get there as a chance. I'm just gonna need to help one of the players out there, maybe Joel Embiid, if there is or not. And now, Here's your New Balance player of the game for game four. And this one goes out to Seth Curry. His streaking run here for a three-pointer tonight is just incredible how he has just made. Well, he has never done that one before, but he was really working his way up a bit. And that's what he noticed. His streaking was just nothing. I don't know what to say about Seth Curry, but he has never got a chance to be a player of the game. So he finally got his manage, and he just had it all. Thanks for your help here, Seth Curry. And only 2.52 left to go. Here's, here are some new changes here for, uh, for the Sixers. They're going to need to try to figure something else out. Adekubo over Korkmaz, and he's just knocked away. The putback is knocked out. Simmons right to Korkmaz, and he will try to work his way to make his first bucket. Thanks to uh, Ben Simmons, he has faced out another assist in the game. It's up, they're up by 12. Anakupo finds Middleton. Working your way around. DiVincenzo up. Pretty Vincenzo. Sorry, that was a that was a mistakeable announcement. And B, oh my goodness, wow! Ah, uh, an upset this put out. Another defensive breakdown on Milwaukee. It's Joel Embiid, 14 points. We're under two minutes left here as they are still up by 12. Adekupo over Courtmaz makes a shot. They're down by 10. 22 points for Gardner Kubo, 16 in the paint. And here's Embiid looking for an R1 here. Simmons, back to Embiid, 3, 135 left to go here. And we're facing out to, to go with uh, 90 seconds. Five on a shot clock. Simmons, no choice, but the three was never out again. Adekubo to DiVincenzo, and he picks it up, the two, no good, it's MB with the rebound, it's number 10. Oh my gosh, wow, looks like the Bucks are not able to make a great season out there. Unfortunately, this is running to be a terrible, terrible game. What a good cut in for Ben Simmons, he has 13. And Ben Simmons has a lead up by one point behind Drew Holiday. Anakupo, oh, Middleton! He's slamming it across in there, and he's trying to work their way up. Anakupo with a little assist here, and the fans are not leaving yet. 
Here's Embiid, he's working out. Oh! It's Brooke Lopez! He rejected in time, but the Sixers still has the ball. A return change here. New champ substitutions, it will be the Sixers. Howard Harris, Green, and Curry, they're back in again. And four of our players, including Ian and Akupo, will be bringing in his brother, Terius Ian Akupo. It's hard for him to stop, but it's not enough for them to score big here. Leon Afro will be uh, Ben Simmons. T. Let's see what he can do for the first one here for the fourth game. Oh, what a rejection here for Dwight Howard. Here's Danny Green. He rolls up to Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris, I meant. Ben Simmons. He cuts it in that close. It's bad 15 points for Ben Simmons. It looks like they're going to take the tie on the run. T going up. Doesn't hit that one yet as well. 10 seconds to go. Last possession for the Sixers. And this one will close out on that run. That means they are coming back once more. Final score is 86 to 75 in this game series. And it's tied up by two. Well, that's going to do it here for today, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching of game number four of the Eastern Conference Finals of NBA. We'll see them back here in game five when we return to Philadelphia. As for being said, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time here for another match for this one of a takeoff. And David Aldrich is just muted off, so unfortunately, he will not be doing it on the sideline on again. So thank you for joining us. Peace out, big for a while as the NBA Eastern Conference style. Good night for Fear the Deer of Milwaukee and returning home for the Sixers country of Philadelphia. Here they come, hashtag. Take care. You've probably heard how Tony is so famous. In fact, you've probably heard how Tony was the greatest. I'm black and proud, honestly, I'm fateless. But y'all whack clown smirk, y'all think I'm faking. But truth be told, y'all turds, y'all just hate. And y'all yearn for rooms is gold in my rankings. All y'all fakest haters, traitors, y'all are Satan. Y'all keep saying y'all will make it, I'm still waiting.